Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chira. In this video, I am going to discuss about what is logical address, topic of computer network. Before discuss about what is logical address, first of all, let us see uh, types of address in TCP IP model. We all know that there are four layers in the TCP IP model. Now see in this diagram, application layer, transport layer, internet layer and link layer. There are four types of addresses used in TCP IP protocol suite. The first one is the physical address used at the link layer. The second one is the logical address used at internet layer. The third one is the port address used at the transport layer. And the fourth one is the specific address used at the application layer. In this video, I am going to discuss about logical address. So first of all, what is logical address? Logical address, it is one kind of address assigned to the network device to access the network device from the same network or from the different network. Logical address is also known as the IP address of the PC or router or switch. So we can assign the IP address to the PC, switch or routers. The full form of IP is internet protocol address. So here name suggests of the protocol it is used at the internet layer. Next, how many types of IP address? There are two types of IP address. One is IPv4 and second one is IPv6. IPv4 is the 32 bits address and IPv6 is the 128 bits address. So can you explain the IPv4 and IPv6 with example? Let us see the example of IPv4 and IPv6. So here the example of IPv4, this is the decimal value 192, 168, 1 and 5. So here it is the 32 bits as per the previous discussion. Why it is 32 bits? Because this decimal value convert into the binary value, it store the 8 bit value. So this one box is called as octant. So one octant is equal to 8 bits value. Here there are four octants. So 8 multiplied by 4. So it occupied the 32 bits value of the IPv4. Whenever I write the IPv4 value, so it is like that way. It is 192.168.1.5. Uh, so this is the decimal number so this value is called as dotted decimal numbers next see the example of ipv6 now you can see over here ipv6 written in the hexadecimal values so the size of the ipv6 is 128 bits why it is 128 bits because whenever you convert this hexadecimal value into binary it stored 16 bits now you can see one octant is equal to 16 bits value so there are 8 octants so 16 multiplied by 8 so the size of the ipv6 is 128 bits ipv6 is written like this way so this is the representation of ipv6 so from the example of ipv4 and ipv6 we can say we can easily remember the ipv4 value but we can't remember the value of ipv6 next can i change the ip address yes you can change the ip address value because IP address value is assigned by the network admin to the, all the devices in the network. So we can say logical address is not a permanent address. So we can change the logical address or we can say change the IP address. Next, purpose of IP address. The purpose of IP address is to send the data across the network. So here we can say the network may be same or it may be different. Also we can say we can send the data in the same network through the MAC address. If you want to know about how to send the data in the same network through the MAC address. So click on above thumbnail and watch the video. How can send the data across the network? Let us see one example. Here this is the TCP IP model. In TCP IP model whenever data transfer from transport layer to the internet layer at that time segment convert into the packet. Now I will zoom this packet. So what is inside the packet? There is the data inside the packet also include application and transport layer header. So at the internet layer one header is added. So what is the inside in the header? It is source IP and destination IP. So it is called the header of the data and this whole diagram is called as the packet at network layer. Now I will show you one scenario of the data transfer from same network and different network through the IP address. Here it is the network A. There are three PC in the network A1, A2 and A3. These all PCs are connected through the switch. The another network is network B. There are three PCs in the network B, B1, B2 and B3. These all PCs are connected through the switch. So whenever I want to connect this different network, I need a one router. So this is the router and both the networks are connected. Let us take one example of the data transfer. Here A1 is the sender. 
A3 and B3 both are the receiver. Here A3 is placed in the same network as the sender network and B3 is placed in the different network. Now data transfer process is going on and data pass from sender A1 to the switch. Here both the switches are manageable so they can read IP address as well as the MAC address of the data. Read the IP address from the data and pass to the next hop. Now you can see over here data pass to the router as well as the receiver A3. So here receiver A3 can get the data successfully. So router is work on internet layer. So router can read the IP address only. So from the data router can read the IP address and pass to the switch. Now it is manageable switch and read the IP address from the data and pass to the particular device. So now B3 get the data successfully. So here there is two different example is covered. One is the data transfer through the IP address in the same network and another is data transfer through the IP address in the different network. So thank you for watching this video.